let's talk about formulas on TradingView. So watch our mouse here. We open the symbol search menu and now we can chart any formula. Here we've added Tesla plus Apple and divided it by Bitcoin. And it's as easy as just typing that out. Watch this. Tesla plus Apple. Enter. And now we're charting Tesla plus Apple. You can see it here. Tesla plus Apple. And of course, you can change your resolution or time frame. And the chart will change just like any other chart. You can go back in time. You can look for key levels or moments where the trend has changed. And you could even change your chart type. So if you wanted to do this in a line chart, or of course in candles, you can. And it's really as easy as getting started by opening your symbol search and then typing in a formula of your choice. And you can do a lot here. Why don't we just do something as simple as doing the Dow divided by gold futures? So why would we do this? Well, the reason for doing this is we want to look at the ratio of Dow and gold and see which one is outperforming the other and is it becoming more or less expensive so for example how much would it how many pieces of gold would it cost to buy the dow and then you can watch that in real time and you could even go back say to a month so change our resolution and then of course we can change our time frame just making this perfect let's see if we can get this and now you can see we are looking at the Dow price in gold going back to the 70s. And it's as simple as just opening your symbol search and typing in an equation of your choice. Now remember, there's division, subtraction, addition, multiplication. You have an exponent. And you can just type this into your symbol search and then you're good to go. And you can be as creative with this as you want. You know, something you could do, let's say you want to do silver ETF plus gold ETF divided by Bitcoin. Press enter and here is the chart just like that calculates in an instant. We see how far back the chart goes. The data goes back to 2011 and that is essentially how you can use the symbol search to chart unique equations. This can really start to separate you from everyone else because now you're creating equations that are unique to you, specific to your research and will open up a whole new world of ideas. So once again, we'll just say it really quickly. It's as simple as opening up your search box and then having fun. You can start to add symbols together. You can create your own index almost or your own ETF. Perhaps you want just to add up your watch list in a way and or maybe create a unique way to make it an, uh, an, almost like an equal weighted watch list. You could, it's as simple as this. Just type them into the symbol search, press enter, and you're off and you know we did some pretty simple examples here where all we really did was add symbols together or divide symbols but it's really important that you have all of these tools available to you to create a formula of your choice so depending on your skills you can make something really complex and helpful or if you're just getting started you really could start off with something as simple as just doing say Apple, I mean Amazon divided by Apple, and then you could get a feel for how are the two assets performing relative to one another, and then you could even start to do this with, say, different asset classes. So we could do gold and Bitcoin, and now we're sort of looking at, you know, gold priced in Bitcoin, and that is a mag, you know, it's a fascinating chart, right? Right there, it kind of opens your eyes up to two very different assets but kind of so serve uh, similar meanings in markets. And you can instantly see which one is outperforming the other just by looking at this. So we really appreciate you watching this video. We hope it helped. Remember, open your symbol search and just get started. Type in anything that comes to mind and have fun. And that really is the key. Once you type in your first equation, it will start to click. You can dive in. You can start creating more complex equations. And we hope that this video helped you. And of course, remember, this is all for educational purposes. Every equation that we type into, you know, into this video is really just for education. We're not trying to say that any sort of symbol is better than the other. We're just trying to open your mind up into what's possible. And it's right here. Open your symbol search and get started. Thanks for watching. And you can leave any questions or comments in the video, I mean, in the comments below. Thank you.